Hi, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome to my channel. Let's do the reverse single crochet, shall we? So I have a couple rows of extended single crochet going here and as I'm about to finish the last stitch on my hook, I'm gonna pull through with a new color so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I've put the new color, just like you would changing a ball when you run out of yarn or just wanna change color. We will chain one because that's the ladder of a single crochet, but I'm not turning. I'm gonna go the reverse direction with single crochet like you would any other single crochet. So this stitch is next. Yarn over, or don't yarn over, but insert the hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. It is lumpy. It is sideways, just like a crab walking sideways across the sand. So let's do a few more. We're gonna continue working the way you just came without turning. So this is on the right side of the fabric. Going in the next stitch here, I'm right-handed. Insert here, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. I might reverse this video or mirror image it so that lefties can see how it goes. So this original section is right-handed, but I will make a note if I reverse it for you lefties. This is how it's looking. The reverse single crochet or the crab stitch. You're going in the reverse direction, inserting the hook in the next stitch, pulling up a loop, yarning over, pulling through two loops on the hook, again and again. And it makes this beautiful corded edging, so no matter how many stitches you have, no matter the multiple, you can always finish off a project with this lovely little corded edging, the reverse single crochet.